Hey there, crypto fans, and welcome to Altcoin Radar. This is a place where beginners like you and I can do some research and learn all about the many different cryptocurrency and altcoin projects together. So today, guys, we're going to learn all about Marlin, or Pond, and the project behind the name. So let's see what Marlin's all about. And if you guys are new to my channel, um, let me just say here real quick that my project, or sorry, not my project, <laughs> my, uh, my channel's all about learning the actual projects of the coins, or the project behind the cryptocurrency. I don't really care about price. I don't talk about price. I don't talk about price predictions. That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm a beginner, so I want to learn about the projects. I want to know where I'm putting my money. So I want to know about, you know, what's going on behind the project, see if it's a good project or not. So that's what we're going to figure out today. And so first what we're going to do is we're going to find out what CoinMarketCap has to say about the project, and then we will take a look at their website and see if we can learn a bit, little bit more from their website. All right, guys. So... Marlin on CoinMarketCap is currently ranked at 380, and it is trading for 13 cents, and it is down 15% at the time of uh, filming this right now. But that doesn't mean it's a bad coin or a bad project. It just means that it's it's down right now. I mean, Bitcoin took a dump last night, so pretty much everything's down right now. All right, guys, so let's see what CoinMarketCap has to say about Marlin. Um, let's see here. Marlin is an open protocol that provides a high-performance programmable network infrastructure for DeFi and Web 3.0. The nodes in the Marlin network, called Meta nodes, operate the Marlin VM, which provides a virtual router interface for developers to deploy customized overlays and perform edge com computations. Notable overlays that can be built using Marlin VM include low-latency block multicast to scale blockchains, Low latency mempool sync for arbitrators. I can't even pronounce that, guys. Uh, mesh networks, anonymity, anonymity. Uh, that's such a try saying that ten times fast, but you can't. Uh, anonymity networks like mixnets, uh, device optimization, and caching responses of API to Infura, Alchemy, etc. All right, guys. This is a lot of techno technological mumbo jumbo here. Um, so I'm guessing I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to assume that this project is mainly for developers. So it's not really a project with like a product for end users, like people like you and I to use on a daily basis. It's more for like, I think it's for uh, DeFi developers or people who are, you know, building DeFi projects or something like that. Um, but we're going to find out more on their website, hopefully. So its native utility token called Pond is used for running validator nodes on the network via staking making and voting and governance proposals to determine how network resources are allocated, determining a set of network performance auditors, and compensating users from an insurance fund in case of an SLA breach. Marlin aims to deliver on the promise of a decentralized web where applications secured via the blockchain are indistinguishable in terms of performance to users accustomed to Web 2.0. All right, so what makes Marlin unique? Marlin is one of the few layer zero projects focused on, they spelled focused wrong. So people who have, people at CoinMarketCap, if you're reading this, I mean, you're probably not, obviously, because, you know, I'm small fish. But anyway, uh, if you're reading this, you spelled focused wrong, bro. So just want to let you know here, um, you know, we're all here to help each other out. So, yeah, um, projects focused on on network layer optimizations similar to Filecoin which is incentivized I which is incentivized IPFS Marlin claims to be the equivalent of an incentivized lib lib P2P uh, this makes Marlin ubiquitous ubiquitous in the decentralized web as any peer to peer application relies on networking between distributed nodes to function Marlin is thus blockchain agnostic. It offers gateways built for several layer one as well as layer two platforms. Unlike several other scaling solutions, which suffer from the scalability trilemma, where uh, either one of performance, decentralization, or security is sacrificed, improvements in the network layer are not subject to such constraints, which primarily govern consensus layers. All right, guys, so if anybody is, uh, I'll just say this right now, if anybody is watching this video right now and knows more, uh, knows a lot about this coin or about this project or understands this stuff, uh, you know, please 
let us know or uh, explain this to us like we're five years old in the comments section, please, because I think that would help a lot of people out who are like me, who are beginners and want to learn about the project, but are having a hard time figuring out all this technological stuff. So if you know more about it and you can, you know, explain it to us better in the comments, let us know. Uh, we're all here to help each other out, so uh, that's that's the whole point here. All right, so how many Marlin tokens are in circulation? There exist two tokens in the Marlin economy, M-Pond and Pond. M-Pond has a total supply cap of 10,000, while Pond is capped at 10... Uh, that's 10 million, I think. 10 followed by six zeros? Yeah, that's 10 million. Um, is that 10 million? No, that's not 10 million. That's 10 billion. I think that's 10 billion. That's nine zeros. Yeah, that's 10 billion. Okay, so <laughs> sorry about that. Um, conversion between the two tokens is facilitated via a, a bridge which returns 1 million pond when sent 1 m pond and vice versa. Initially, 4,623 m pond and 3 million, or sorry, 3 billion 184 million pond are created with pond primarily distributed amongst validators and the community. These, these numbers may vary over time due to conversions via the bridge. Every Marlin made a node is required to stake M Pond and receives Pond in the form of staking rewards. All right, that's cool. How can I earn Marlin or Pond? As a layer zero project and true to its community ideals, M Pond is distributed amongst stakers of different layer one platform tokens via a mechanism called Flow Mint. Pond can thus be earned by converting such mpond to pond via the bridge in addition to staking mpond towards Marlin Meta nodes which receive pond and staking rewards. Oh man, it's kind of funny. I feel kind of weird saying the word pond all the time. I feel like I, I, I for some reason I keep thinking of frogs every time I say it. I don't know why. Uh, but anyway, uh, where can you get pond? Um, the top exchanges for trading Marlin are currently Huobi Global, Coinbean, um, GX.com, MXC.com, and LBank. And there's probably a lot more, but I mean, these are the top ones. All right, so we're going to take a look at their website now and see if we can learn a little bit more from their website. All right, guys, so um, let's see here. Accelerating, oh, that's cool. I like that. Accelerating decentralized communication. An open protocol that provides a high performance programmable network infrastructure for DeFi and Web 3.0. The unglamorous underbelly of the decentralized economy, Marlin address, addresses today's pressing concerns at layer zero. Scalability, unreliable networks, and long block prop propagation delays are a key factor limiting blockchain throughput. Marlin SDK provides a plug-and-play network alternative to increase the throughput of all blockchains with minimal protocol changes. Okay. In decentralization, the number of nodes in a blockchain are often restricted to small small numbers to guarantee low confirmation times. Marlin SDK allows blockchains and off-chain protocols to scale to hundreds of thousands of nodes without compromising on performance. All right, anonymity. The pattern of pocket the pattern of packet propagation through a P2P network reveals the origin of transactions. Marlin Foundry enables creation and de deployment of anonymity. Uh, networks that can be seamlessly integrated through the Marlin SDK. Okay. Marlin SDK, round robust P2P networking designed for performance and security. All right. Cool. Um, again, I don't understand any of this stuff, but you know, for the sake of the video and for beginners like me, we're just going to keep going through it and, you know, um, you know, fill our, fill our, <laughs> fill our brains with information. I mean, it's going to get hooked on us sometimes. So we're going to figure this out. Marlin Foundry, our decentralized network of programmable routers enables you to launch your own anonymity network, network, networked bandwidth, or, or, or your own mesh network too. Okay. Um, co-main mixnet, co-main mixnet, VPN. Okay. Well, there's a lot of different things you can do, or you can launch with, uh, their routers. Um, networked bandwidth. Leverage an existing node network for added security, flexible incentivization, use your own token for payments and governance, and extensible architecture. Deploy customized routing rules on the Marlin VM. 
All right, enabling decentralized high-performance communication. Uh, meta nodes all across the globe share bandwidth to support networks built using Marlin today. Marlin Foundry. All right, cool. And what's new at Marlin? I got some information there. Ready to integrate Marlin. Okay, so basically, I'm guessing Marlin is one of those projects where you integrate it into other projects. Okay, so basically, this is useful for like other projects, other cryptocurrency projects, and that's that's kind of what I'm getting at here. Um, if I'm wrong and somebody's more experienced can tell me, you know, let me know in the comment section. I love having conversations about this stuff and I love learning. So, uh, yeah, let me know. So, all right, guys, now that we've got a pretty decent baseline idea of what Marlin is all about, go ahead and take a minute to subscribe to my channel so that you guys can join me in learning about all these different cryptocurrency projects with me in my future videos. And with that said, you guys, Thanks again for watching and learning with me, and I hope to see you guys in the comments section of my future videos.